Hey, what's up guys? Sebastian here from greenmusicproductions.com. Today I'm here with another amazing tool called Meteor by UVI. For those who don't know, I'm currently making a series of videos on my favorite sound design plugins and tools, so make sure to check out my previous videos and to subscribe to this channel. Now, what is Meteor? It's basically designed for composers, sound designers, musicians, and it's a really creative tool. Uh, you can design swells, dramatic crescendos, powerful hits and impacts. It has a seven layer architecture and it's fully customizable. It comes with seven gigs of samples, modulation, effects. It sounds complicated, but it's really not. Uh, first, let's look at the main page right here. It's really beautiful. It makes me want to design some really cool sounds. And it's actually really simple. You could just stay on that main page here and you'll probably find what you're looking for because it comes packed with uh, amazing presets and they're all categorized. So it's super easy to find what you're looking for. Now let's listen to some Meteor Highlights presets first so you understand uh, what it's doing. So I currently have my MIDI controller open. So let's press that C key and see what it's doing. Now that sounds really good. I work in trailers a lot and I'm always looking for that kind of horns. Reminds me of Hans Zimmer. So that's really cool. And what's nice is that it's mapped on your keyboard. So depending on the music, you could always match the sound effects to the music. Uh, let's listen to another preset. Now that's a really nice and lush uh, piano sound. You could also use it as an instrument if you want. So let's try that. Really cool stuff. I like that. Uh, let's try the next preset. Now that's really good. As you can see, we can hear a rise first and then the impact. So this specific preset here has seven samples layered together and you can control them right on the main page. So you can change the volume of the different presets. You can disable them, solo them. So these are the three rises. Now let's listen to the impact sounds. And all together they make this huge sound really cool stuff i really like that let's say i really like this preset and i want the rise to be longer to match the trailer i'm working on you can always change the rise length you can put it in seconds or beats depending on if you're working in a certain session with a certain bpm for now i'll stick with seconds let's say i want to make it 2.20 seconds really nice i really like that you can also change the impact offset so let's say you want the impact to come earlier uh, you could do that you can make it come later so that's a bit weird since the rise will end and then the impact will trigger but maybe you're looking for that kind of stuff so let's try it out yeah you can change the crossfade between the two So pretty straightforward, really easy to use. If you want to dive deeper, all of those presets are fully customizable. If you click on that settings button right here, you can see all of the samples that you're currently using. You can change the panning, the volume, mute solo. You have a reverb and delay effects that you can send them to. And you can play with even more settings by clicking right here. Uh, you have a volume curve. Uh, if you want the volume to ramp up and you can change the volume with your mud wheel also so it's really powerful you also have a distortion analog or digital distortion and you can also modulate it with the curve or the mud wheel so that's really cool you also have a filter uh, same kind of stuff and a pitcher here so uh, the pitch can go up with the curve also so that's really cool and these effects are different for the impact sound so if we go on an impact sound you have an offset so you can change the timing of that impact sound so it, it's not at the same time as the other. You have a transient shaper so you can make the attack of this. Uh, let's, let's play with it. Um, so right now the transient is at maximum. If we lower it, it makes the sustain stand out more. 
And uh, we also have a sustain. It makes it longer, it makes the tails a lot richer. We can also apply some distortion. Right now it's set to analog distortion and uh, the amount is, let's put it to maximum just to see what it's doing. So if that's what you're looking for, really cool stuff, let's try the digital distortion. So to make an overload effect in the distortion, you also have two types of filters, the low pass and high pass, or just a tilt filter to focus on a certain frequency. Obviously you have a pitch section, really cool stuff. You can change the pitch and you can make it change over time. So let's say I want it to start at the original pitch and then go up. I can put a time. Make it ramp up or make it ramp down. So that's really cool if that's what you're looking for. You also have the granular effect right here to make some out of this world sounds. So if you're looking uh, for sci-fi textures, this is really good. You can do a lot of crazy stuff with this. And this is just for this simple specifically. So you can dive really deep into those settings. Again, it's super clean, even though there's a lot of stuff to do. You also have the volume and the thrust options as in the main page right here. Uh, so the thrust is really nice because you can make it really basic or you can make it super aggressive. So it's super easy to do. Um, you can also control it here. You have a velocity. So if you want your keyboard to be super sensitive to velocity, you can, or you can just put it to zero. Now again, uh, what's cool is that if you're designing a sound and you don't want to use the preset sounds, you can always change them by clicking on that square right here. And it comes packed with a lot of samples. So you're not limited to just a couple of samples. There's a lot of stuff there. So you can be really creative. And you also have a randomize option. So let's say that rise, I'm not too sure. And I want to try different stuff. I can press that randomize button. really cool stuff you can always go back to the previous sound so this is really really cool in my opinion and it's not over we have a modulation section so it's simple you can choose if you want it to affect the rise or the impact you have an LFO volume so let's try that on the rise and you can uh, make it shift time So that's really cool. You can apply on the impact sounds if you want. You also have a motion filter. And even those uh, modulation effects comes with presets. So really cool stuff you also have a motion panner so that's really nice if you want it to pan left right or do some crazy panning effects let's uh, put the depth higher really cool stuff it comes with presets also you can always design your own presets I really like that and if you want to apply it to the impact you just have to click on impact now the impact is getting panned left right really cool stuff and the effects section um, this reverb right here is basically the reverb that you send the different samples to so to control the different settings of that reverb you come here you have some different kind of spaces really cool stuff so it basically comes with a reverb plugin a delay plugin where you can change the width so it's also stereo a EQ, and you have a width processor right here so if you want to make your sounds wider you can just raise the amount and it's gonna spread that stereo field and if you add delay it's gonna be even more pronounced so you can make your sounds super wide 
Now I really like all the customization but as I said earlier it's super easy just to stay on that window if you want and browse through the presets. Maybe if you don't want to use a basic preset you can always randomize some of the sounds. I would say that the only negative thing about this plugin is that you can't import your own sounds into it. Uh, because of the way it's made but it comes with so many samples that you're never gonna run out of ideas i'll leave a link to their website in the description so make sure to check it out right now i think it's uh, 149 dollars us so i hope you enjoyed that video as usual if you like that video click that like button and subscribe and see you guys in next video bye guys